Yo guys, Spiderbot here, taking another look at a Custom Zombies mod for Black Ops 2. Uh, again, this one is a bit of a stretch. I'm going to look at the original mod that sort of gave me the idea for it, and then we're going to expand into how I think it should apply to Black Ops 2. And what we're going to look at are perks and attachments, and mostly on the attachment side. Um, and what we're going to do, I'm going to go to the map called Proper Tree. I know, I love this map. Uh, I talked about it a couple days ago when we were talking about double pack-a-punching. But this time around, we're just going to see an example of a perk that they put into the into this map. I'm just going to go grab Jug. But it's called Steady Lemon Aim. <laughs> Steady Lemon Aim or le Lemon Aim Lemonade. Lemon Aim Lemonade, something like that. We're going to see it up top. It's actually up top. But what it gives us is not only Steady Aim, but we'll see here in a second. Just uh, checking where the, uh, the crawler is going before I go and grab the perk. And here, obviously, it's a perk, but again, what they've done with the Black Ops 2 multiplayer, I think they can, could, I mean, it's probably a little late now, but maybe in DLC, who knows, who knows, right? They can split out the weapon attachments and the user, like the player perks, right? So here's Steady Lemon Aim, and we're going to grab, it's 1500, and watch what we get. So we get steady aim, but we get this laser sight, right? And laser sights we've seen in Black Ops 2. I mean, it's not quite as bright as we're seeing it here. But nonetheless, there are attachments that you can put on, for instance, your assault rifles or whatever, or your SMGs, that give you a laser sight and improve your accuracy. So I'm thinking, my idea is, again, that there's that separation that they have in the Black Ops 2 multiplayer where they've taken all the weapon attachments and made those apply to the weapon. So extending that out to zombies, I mean, you would have, let's say, perks that would impact your player. They would give you, you know, like Juggernog is is fine, Quick Revive is fine, um, but perks like Double Tap, Double Tap wouldn't necessarily be a perk anymore, like a player perk, it would be a weapon attachment, right? And these weapon attachments, let's say there's a centralized location where you can buy weapon attachments on, on each um, on each map. But you'd have to unlock them. And I, I really like the unlocking part because it promotes playing. It promotes more play. And it promotes playing with, with more weapons. So, see, my idea, again, is, okay, let's say you start off with a Colt. You can buy attachments for your Colt, but you only unlock them after so many kills, after so many zombie kills with that weapon, right? And it's sort of like the same as the progression system or similar to the progression system for unlocking attachments in the multiplayer. You unlock attachments in zombies by using those weapons and then you get to apply the attachments. Um, and again, going to that centralized location, well, I have a, a, a like a Thompson here. Well, I want to put a red dot on it. So I go to the central attachment, uh, I don't know, computer or, or storage area or whatever it is. Maybe it's just a machine, right? And I go in and, and uh, I purchase like a red dot site or I can put a silencer on it. Although I don't know why you need a silencer in zombies, but maybe a silencer would be appropriate in grief mode, right? Um, and you can put, maybe you can put multiple attachments on it, uh, depending, maybe there's a perk, um, although that gets away from it being gun related, but maybe that's an unlock, uh, after you've unlocked all the attachments for a gun via X number of kills, and maybe it's X number of kills with certain attachments, then you unlock the ability to put three attachments on the weapon, right? So it, it just, it, again, it promotes the use of, of additional weapons, and it just adds flavor and variety variety to the game. And I don't see why they shouldn't be able to incorporate the things that they've done from the multiplayer, which I think is a great idea, and bring it into Zombies as an unlocked progression system just for weapons. And see, the double tap too, right? Double tap, again, wouldn't be a, a player perk. It would actually be a weapon attachment. Now, I realize they already have... They already have speed hole in the game that we've seen in the uh, the trailer, the zombies trailer. So obviously they're not necessarily incorporating something like they've taken from multiplayer into zombies. But I just think it's I think it's a cool idea. What do you guys think? W would you guys? I think it would really promote you know not only more gameplay, playing zombies more. Not like we don't play it enough anyway, <laughs> but playing it more often and actually playing with a different variety of weapons. And I think it would add a cool element 
to the grief mode because you know people who have played more i mean they should have you know, not only are they the matchmaking hopefully is going to match them up with players of similar skill but you'd also have the ability to use those um use those attachments so for instance in, in grief mode 4v4 if you didn't have a silencer well you'd show up on the mini map and the other team would know where you are right and uh, i don't know how the big these maps are going to be in, in the 4v4 but and if you had a silencer on your weapon, you had unlocked and, and you actually applied it and purchased it in-game, then the enemy team would no longer be able to see your position on the map. But anyways, those are just my thoughts, and I'm just going to post up a, a, an image here of the uh, the attachments from Black Ops 2 multiplayer, and uh, you can take a look and, and see you know what uh, what you think would be, would be cool to apply to zombies. Now, keep in mind, this image was taken from Gamescom footage, so it may be changed as of now, but uh, you can see all the attachments that you have for your weapon. And uh, again, I think it would just be a, co a kind of a cool idea to be able to have that variety of attachments in uh, zombies as well and being able to apply them, purchase them, and, and customize your weapon. I mean, you could even go as far as, as putting camos on. Who knows, right? Um, and, and unlocking them and, and purchasing them for use in-game. I just think it would be a cool element to add to zombies, and I was kind of excited when I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, I started thinking about that, that steady aim perk and, and how we could apply attachments and thinking, hey, let's take the whole system they did for multiplayer and apply it to zombies. I think it would be fantastic. But uh, it's probably a little late. Who knows? Maybe they do something in DLC. Treyarch, come on, put it in your DLC. Start working on it, you guys. That's it for now. What do you guys think of the idea? I think it's pretty cool. I'm Spider and I'm out.